A move that's similar to the Western hook is going to be shin pinning the leg, in this case the ankle or the calf. So watch, we're going to watch Hamzat knee block and drive to knock his opponent over. As his opponent's trying to figure out that, he's going to slide his own shin on top of the opponent's leg. This way it's like between the ankle and the calf. And notice he hooks around. This is a good control point for Hamzat and it's very easy to get. It's also very easy to get in combination with that knee block. Like the Western hook, this move not only immobilizes the leg, but is also a terrific transitional tool as well. So Chemaev's opponent's gonna try to escape by straightening out this leg. Watch this. As he does, Hamzat immediately takes off that shin pin. He repositions it behind himself like so, and if we now watch the left leg of Chemaev, we're gonna see him once again use this as a way to enter the inside hook as he lifts that knee up, bam, it's on. So you've heard me mention the inside hook a couple times now. I think it's about time we talked about it. Let's take a look at Hamzat set one up. What he's gonna do is he's gonna drag his opponent back like so. When he does that, he gets the opponent broken down. A pretty typical reaction is for the opponent to try to get back up right away. So watch as his opponent lifts his knee to try to get back. Hamzat immediately whips that leg over, and now he's going to curl the heel back to get the inside hook. Now Hamzat's really going to hook it on. Watch that leg. He's going to curl it back even more. And this is when the inside hook becomes really strong. What I mean by that is Hamzat's ankle is now past his opponent's ankle. Now if Chemayev has this inside hook, right, and you're up like so, like these guys are pretty upright right now, what he's going to start doing is looking to grab your wrist and break you down. Because if he can break you down while he has an inside hook, this starts to become really dangerous for the bottom guy. Especially if he starts throwing him that double wrist ride there, like he's always looking to do. What he's going to do is pull on that and use it to shin pin your other leg. So now he's got an inside hook and a shin pin on your other leg. And now you're in some real danger, especially because you're turned away from him. Let's look at another angle here. Here you can see the inside hook, and here you can see that shin pin. Notice how broken down the opponent is now. Hamzat's like just sitting on him, posturing up, and the opponent's stuck, turned away from Hamzat because of that leg configuration of the inside hook and shin pin. One of the only things this guy is gonna be able to do is try to get up onto his elbow in an attempt to begin trying to escape. But all that does is open up the double wrist ride that we talked about, right? We've called this the Dagestani handcuff in the past. I've made a video where I called this a Dagestani handcuff. And that's gonna allow him to suck that wrist in and really start putting the weight down. Uh, once that weight comes down, oh, you're just trapped there. It's a miserable position. He can beat you once he frees that left hand. Not only that, but turn too far away from him and he starts going for the rear naked choke. So it's a great position, that inside hook you can get it from the turtle position or you break them down to their back and you get that inside hook and shin pin. And one thing you're going to see a lot